Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome. If you are new to Pretty Planet, my name is Tara. If you are returning, welcome back. This is another Faith Field Friday. Surely we thank God for allowing us to see this day. If you guys are ready to dive into scripture, you know what to do. Stay right there and just keep watching. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace, just thanking you for this day. I thank you, God, for life, health, and strength. I thank you, God, for every soul that's gathered here for Faith Field Friday to learn more of your word. I pray, oh God, that we will be enlightened and encouraged on today. I pray that you will continue to open our eyes and our hearts so that we may gain a greater understanding of your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Welcome back, you guys, or welcome again. I do pray that everyone is doing well. I'm doing good. It is super early, as you guys can suspect. And we are back for another Faith Field Friday. We're going to dive right into some scripture. And then I want to explain something to you guys towards the end. So let's get started. I'm super excited. I have a running joke, you guys. I sometimes tell people I haven't been this excited about Friday since last Friday. I don't know. Do you guys think that's funny or a little bit corny? My son would call it cringy, but I thought it was cute. Okay, so let's get started. I won't tell any more jokes this early in the morning. <laughs> We are going to get started with our scriptures, and I'm going to read from Friday to Friday. For those of you that are new, this is the scripture focus from last week. And I have my pens and everything here. So last Friday was March 15th, and the scripture was Psalm 119, 165. And it reads, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Amen. Saturday was 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, and it reads, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Amen. Amen. I always refer back to this scripture, you guys. We know in this chaotic world we live in, there is a lot of confusion, but we know that God is not the author of confusion. He does not dwell in the midst of confusion. Sunday, March 17th was Galatians 5, 22 and 23. It reads, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Amen. Amen. And then Monday was Isaiah 32 and 17. And it reads, the work of righteousness will be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. Amen. Tuesday was James 3, 17 through 18. And it reads, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Amen. And then Wednesday, March 20th, was Psalms 85 and 8, and it reads, I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people and his saints, but let them not turn back to folly. Amen. And Thursday was John 16 and 20, and this is in the red letter. And I did go ahead and write that with a red pen just so um, I know when I'm going back or reading these scriptures that these are the words of Jesus. And it reads, Most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice and you will be sorrowful. But your sorrow will be turned into joy. Amen. And I did write here in this box the scripture before it, which was 19, where Jesus tells the disciples a little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. So I thought that was pertinent as we were reading John 16 and 20. 
And this is our scripture focus from last week, which was Lamentations 3 and 23. And that was great as his faithfulness, his mercies began afresh each morning. Amen. And I did, you guys, I put a sticky note here because last week as I was writing out my scriptures, I ended up writing the scripture for Friday, but now I'm going to write it with you guys. And it is Romans 12 and 18. And it reads, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Amen. So let's just write that in our spot here for Friday. If it is possible. As much as depends on you live peaceable live peaceably sorry with all men amen and these scriptures you guys i normally write in the new king james version so that is our scripture for friday so we've covered friday through friday and I am going to go ahead and read our devotional for today. And I believe we are, let me see, I have my ribbon here, 82 days into the year. So our devotional for today is titled Adoration. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on earth is yours, O oh Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as the one who is over all things. That comes from 1 Chronicles 29 and 11. And the love letter from God reads, Beloved daughter, I created all that you see and everything your eyes embrace. Every breath that you take is a glorious gift from me. I want you to understand who I am. Get lost for a moment in the beauty that surrounds you, but don't let it distract you from my heavenly kingdom. I love it when you enjoy creation, but if you hold too tightly to created things, you will miss out on the journey of faith. Remember that what's around you will go away, but what's above you will last forever. Live through this day with deep adoration of me. Love your heavenly father. The reflection says we are prone to forgetting that everything on heaven and earth not only belongs to the Lord, but also was created by him. It's dangerous to think that anything we have done is really ours. And it's even more dangerous to hold to it tighter than to the one who gave it to us in the first place. Treasure of truth is what surrounds us will go away. What's above us in heaven will last forever. Amen. And then our prayer on the side here says, Dear God, open your daughter's eyes to see your glory, which surrounds her. Help her to have a deeper understanding and appreciation of you. In Jesus' name, amen. This is so very touching. I just had a conversation. I'm just going to say this really quick. I had a conversation with someone and um, they were talking about you know, the things that they have, the things that they have gained and encountered and their job and money. And I made a statement um, that a lot of people sometimes worship things that are created instead of worshiping the creator. And that is exactly what this um, devotional for today is telling us. We can't hold tight to the things that God has created and not show adoration to the creator, right? So that was my little tidbit for our devotional for today. And I do have this opened up to the month of March. You guys that are new, you will see these dots. And that is how I'm keeping track of my daily devotional and my scripture writing. I do have my dot pens here. So we just read, um, our devotional for today and we did our scripture writing for today which is the 22nd 
so I'll put an orange dot there. I know I'm going backwards now, but I also did it for the 16th. I did my devotional the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and yesterday. Amen. I've been obedient, and I did my scripture writing for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. And so that is what we have for tracking my devotional and scripture writing. It should be dry. Uh-oh, I smeared it. Okay. And I am going to pull our scripture focus for next week. And then I'll show you what I've done with them <laughs> about that. So these prayer cards, you guys, I did get from Dollar Tree. They are typically by the register at most Dollar Trees that I've visited. Um, so that is where you can find them. And I don't remember where I pulled from last week, but for some reason, this one is standing out to me. So let's see what we have. It reads, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. And I would just go back to this week. I'll show you guys what I've done. So for the first week of March, I did go ahead and punch the card, the scripture card, so I can just leave it here in my planner. Um, I did that at the beginning of the year as well with the deck of cards, as you can see here. And I left those there for every week. So I kind of want to follow that same pattern. I am, to be honest, you guys, missing this layout. A whole lot I am. But I'm going to stick with what we have going on here. So I punch the card for every week. And then I put it here. And this is last week. And then I'm going to punch it and put it here for next week. So... I have my happy planner punch. Just gonna line that up, stick it there. Then it'll go right here. And this is our scripture focus for next week. And what I also did, you guys probably remember um, when I was decorating this in my other video, this page was left blank. So I'm going to use this as my March currently. And typically you fill out currently pages like at the end of the month and I can fill in some things that I am grateful for, some gratitude um, items, and then I can fill in a prayer here and praises here. I just put a little um, scripture quote down here. It says, be strong and courageous for I am with you, which is Joshua 1 and 9. And those cards that I pull every week, this is where I'm going to keep track. I know it says verse of the day, but I mean, it is Friday and we're pulling it today. But I do like to focus on those scriptures throughout the week. So that is where I'm keeping track. And then I can write in here what today's scripture was Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 and I believe we have one more week in March let me just make sure I didn't make a mistake uh oh no we don't okay so maybe I put too many I have one two three Four. Okay, I added an extra one. That's okay. I can fix that. I can definitely fix it. <laughs> we would just take it off. There we go. And looks like it was never there. So that is what we have for today, you guys. I do thank you all for being here. I pray that you all will have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, and a blessed week ahead. 
until we all meet back here on Faith Field Friday, Lord willing. I pray, Father God, that you will take us on our journey safely to and from, Lord God. I bind up all accidents and incidents. I thank you, Lord God, for being our hedge of protection. I thank you for joining in with us on today, Lord God, because we know in your word, it says when two or three are gathered, you will be in the midst. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys, remember to keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty. Thank you.